Hello everyone, we have an exponential equation on the board. 2 to the power of x times 5 to the power of y equals 10 to the power of x. And uh, obviously, we're looking for the value of x and y. And before we start, for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. And now let's start. So if you notice, in this form of uh, exponential equation, by exploring uh, the way you solve it uh, to find for the value of x or y and uh, this simple uh, equation just we have just two terms and this is multiplication right there the dot or we'll find a way to solve this uh, variable the exponent variable x and y what we have to do is uh, divide the whole equation by any of these terms divide by 10x divide by 2x or divide by 5 raised to y and uh, absolutely we could find the value of x and y or either way x with respect to y so let's start doing that 2 to the power of x times 5 to the power of y equals 10 to the power of x so from here we divide the whole equation by 10 to the power of x so let's do that 2x times 5 to the power of y but by 10 to the power of x equals 10 to the power of x divided by 10 to the power of x and from here on the left side of the equation if you notice you have this one right here the same exponent we can put this both in parentheses since they both have the same exponent so this is now 2 divided by 10 exponent x times 5 to the power of y equals 10 power x divided by 10 power x this becomes 1 and in here we use the formula from the exponent formula that is a raised to m divided by b raised to m equals a divided by b raised to the power of m and that's what we just did on here and simplify the equation 2 divided by 10 is that's 1 fifth power of x times 5 to the power of y equals 1 so from here, if you notice, the variables are on one term, on one side of the equation. So next step will be separate or isolate the, uh, the variable x and y. So that way, next step will be dividing this whole equation by 5y. So this is divided by 5 raised to the power of y, left and right of the equation. So in here now, this one cancels, that's 1. So this is now 1 divided by 5 to the power of x is equal to right side becomes 1 divided by 5 raised to the power of y. And this could be written the same way as 1 divided by 5 raised to the power of y. And why did we do this? 1 divided by 5 to the power of y equals 1 divided by 5 to the power of y. This is uh, from the formula, exponent formula, that is 1 divided by a to the power m. This could be written the same way as 1 to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of m. 1 raised to exponent m or any power that remains as 1. Whichever exponent you put on base of 1 on the constant 1 it will become the same as the base 1. So in here, let's say exponent x, that's the same as 1. Or 1 exponent n, that's the same as 1. So in here, 1 divided by a, both uh, raising to the same exponent, so we can combine those, both those in the parentheses, that is the same way as 1 over a, to the parentheses, uh, exponent m. All right. So the equation now becomes 1 divided by 5 to the power of x is equal to 1 divided by 5 to the power of y. And from here, if you know this, the base are the same, but the exponent are x and y. On the formula, exponent formula, that is a raised to b equals a raised to c. That means uh, they have the same base. But the exponents are different, but their bases are the same, so we can equate both exponents as equal since they have the same base. So this is now b is equal to c. 
So in here now then, x is equal to y. So that is our final answer. All right. Our answer x is equal to y. This simply means that x and y are any real number. And what does it mean by this? If we equate uh, the exponent, the, the value of x and y to the original equation, if we say assign a number to it, a negative 1, negative 2, or positive 2, positive 4, or any integer or real number, we should satisfy the equation. So let's do that. Let's check our answer. And let's go back to the original equation. And so let's say assign in any, uh, a value for the variable x and y. Let's say x is negative 1. That means y is equal to negative 1. Substitute that to the original equation. We'll be getting 2 raised to the negative 1 times 5 raised to negative 1 equals 10 raised to negative 1. And this just simply means, based on exponent uh, rule, this is 1 divided by 2 to the power of 1 times 1 divided by 5 to the power of 1 equals 1 over 10 to the power of 1. That is the formula a raised to negative 1 is equal to 1 over a raised to 1 or simply 1 over a. So in here, simplifying this since this is multiplication, so this is 1 over 2 times 5 is 10 is equal to 1 over 10. So this confirms the value of the x1, x, and y. x is equal to y. And uh, let's say uh, the value of x and y is uh, square root of 2. Substitute so this value to this original equation. So this is now 2 raised to the square root of 2 times 5 raised to the square root of 2 equals 10 raised to the square root of 2. And since the square root of 2 is still a real number, so that's the same way. And 2 raised to the square root of 2, that is 2.665 times 5 to the square root of 2 is 9.738. And 10 raised to the square root of 2, that is 25.954. So from here, we, we have a question mark right here in the middle asking if this is equal to the right side, the left equal to the right side, and uh, multiplying this both, come up to 25.952. Is that equal to the right side? It's approximately equal to 25.954. And the difference of 0 0.002, this is the result of rounding off of numbers into just three decimal places. So this just confirms value of x and y is the same. x is equal to y. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much and thank you for watching. Have a great day everyone. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.